10 of the best work from home jobs, no experience needed. That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video today. We're gonna to be going over these jobs and what you would do in them. I'm gonna be telling you what skills you would need to get into them as well as the skills that you would develop while you work. We're gonna talk about the pay, how easy it is to get into the job. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of the job. And I'm even going to show you exact job postings where you can apply and land the job yourself. So if you appreciate me doing this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is a payer relations specialist. So a payer relations specialist basically analyzes and maintains accurate medical payment rates for health insurance companies and ensures correct fee schedules are followed. You can think of them almost like quality control experts ensuring every medical payment aligns with the fine print of insurance policies. And this is one of the many medical related careers that are actually relatively easy to get into and pay pretty well. You make about 50 to $77,000 a year. Some of the skills you would need for this one are an analytical mindset and strong attention to detail, problem solving skills with technical expertise, and effective communication ability. A great way to get started with this is to build your customer service skills as well as understanding medical billing. So you could take courses online to understand basic anatomy, physiology, as well as medical billing codes. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. Some of the pros of this one are healthcare related jobs tend to be very stable and it's relatively easy to get into. Plus it leads to really good jobs down the line. A con is it requires meticulous attention to detail and you can't really make too many mistakes. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Next is going to be a health plan consultant. And this is somebody who basically offers specialized advice and strategies for optimizing processes within the healthcare sector. And they're typically hired by healthcare institutions, insurance companies, and consulting firms. And in this case, you'd almost be like a GPS for the healthcare system, navigating through complexities to find the best possible route. Now, this is one of those jobs that you could actually move into from the last one that I was talking about. So this is not an entry level job, but I just wanted to include one there that you could easily move into. And in this position, you make about 94 to $166,000 a year. So this is a really good illustration that you can start off with these entry level healthcare positions and then move into much better and higher paying ones down the line. So yeah, just wanted to go over that one really quickly. This one also gets a nine out of 10 opportunity score, although it is technically not entry level. By the way, if you are working in healthcare or you're just working a nine to five job and you want to escape and start your own business, one of the best ones, the ones that I recommend as being the absolute best considering that's what I did is starting a YouTube channel. And I'm actually giving back to the community and I'm doing a live training. It's completely free. It's gonna be 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. So you can check the link down in the description in the pinned comment below to see if that live training is available. I'll be definitely doing it this week, but if you're watching this in the future, check that link still because there's a good chance I'll do another one. Next is going to be a physician advisor coordinator. And this is somebody who basically manages peer reviews between doctors and health plans. And they typically work within hospitals, healthcare systems, and in insurance companies. And this is another one of those jobs that you can move into down the line once you have some experience. And I just wanted to put this one on here just to show you jobs that you can move into because you can make 114 to $211,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So yeah, I just wanted to mention this one as well. Really good one to get into. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Just doing this to illustrate all of the unbelievable amount of jobs you can get into in the healthcare industry that are relatively easy to get into and they pay really well. Next is going to be a reservation. And this is someone who assists in helping customers book various travel arrangements from cozy hotel rooms to adventurous cruises. And these professionals are in demand with travel agencies, hospitality companies, and online travel platforms catering to an ever-growing clientele seeking seamless travel experiences. And reservationists make thirty-six dollars to $52,000 a year. So yeah, this is another one that's relatively easy to get into. I've heard time and time again from people I've talked to and people I've coached that have been able to get into these types of jobs relatively easily. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can pause the video and check them out. I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of traveling for the last two and a half years, I've been traveling the world pretty much full time. I actually have not been in the United States for the last two and a half years, believe it or not. And it's all thanks to having this YouTube channel. And I teach other people how they can start YouTube channels and achieve financial time and location independence. I actually coach a few people per month. So if you think you're a good fit for that, go ahead and apply. The link will be down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next one on the list is going to be a telescribe. And this is somebody who remotely documents provider patient interactions. So providers are basically doctors, pharmacists, and physicians assistants or physician associates. And you'd basically be entering all of their interactions into an EHR or electronic health record system. And this is not only important for accurate medical records being taken, but it's also important because the doctor doesn't spend the entire time typing into their computer. Instead, they can just dictate. And because of that, they can spend more time actually talking to their patient and they can see more patients because they're much more efficient.
position. And in this position, you'd make about 16 to $22 per hour. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So yeah, this one is very easy to get into. A bunch of people that I went to school with actually did this before they went to pharmacy school. As many of you know, I used to be a pharmacist. So a lot of people who are trying to become a pharmacist or a doctor would actually get this as a job in undergrad. So it's very easy to land as a job. Most of them didn't have any experience or a college degree, et cetera, at the time. So yeah, really like this one. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a listing agent. And this is basically somebody who helps clients in finding and renting brokered rental units that meet their needs. Typically, you are going to be working with more wealthy or upper class clients, and you can make really good money doing this. So listing agents, for instance, can make up to 73 to $127,000 a year. However, in many cases, you'll start off as a normal real estate agent, and you can make money by either selling houses or helping people find houses that are rented or leased. And of course, you do not need a college degree or previous experience to become a real estate agent. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can pause the video and check them out. Now, some of the skills for this one are you need to be a very good communicator. You need to have knowledge of real estate and rental markets, and you need to have strong organizational and multitasking abilities. Some of the pros are high income potential, and the cons are there is a lot of paperwork and legal requirements. But overall, I really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. And by the way, this is technically a sales job because you typically will get paid most of your money by commission. And I always recommend that people get into at least one sales job in their life because it's going to teach you unbelievably valuable skills. Sales is the one career path that basically all millionaires and billionaires did at some point in their past. And one of the best industries and the easiest sales jobs to get into is technology sales. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have been able to get into tech sales and they all did it through the company Course Careers, which actually does have a free training, which you can check out in the description in the pinned comment below. And basically they go over what tech sales is, the different career path that you can go down and how much money you can make, whether or not it's a good fit for you and exactly how you can get into it. So go ahead, click that link down in the description in the pinned comment below to check out the free training. Next is going to be a community outreach specialist. This is basically somebody who builds relationships to connect people with valuable resources within the community. And typically they'd be working with nonprofits, government agencies, or healthcare organizations. And there's this really cool video I found on YouTube of this guy who went through a day in his life of being an outreach coordinator. And yeah, in this position, you'd make about 55 to $85,000 a year. And like I said before, relatively easy to get into yet another really good healthcare related career. Some of the skills you'd need here are strong communication skills, project management skills, and analytical thinking. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them on the screen. You can check them out. Some of the pros here are it can be highly rewarding helping out your community, and it can lead to even better jobs down the line. Some of the cons are it does require patience and flexibility due to the varied needs of different patients. But overall, I like this one. I'm giving it an opportunity score of eight out of 10. By the way, comment down below the job you like the most, or if you want to, you can comment the job you didn't like, or you can comment the job that I should have put in the video. I read the comments and a lot of the time I will include those jobs in the next video. Next is going to be an investigation specialist. And this is somebody who conducts thorough inquiries into companies' practices. And they typically collaborate with government agencies and advocacy groups. And basically they're ensuring ethical standards and advertising as well as business operations. And you can almost think of this position as the guardian of the marketplace's moral compass, ensuring that every business points towards an ethical north. And in this position, you can make 68 to $122,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you'd need for this one are proficiency in Google applications and standard office software, excellent written and verbal communication skills, a high level of attention to detail and confidentiality, and strong interpersonal skills. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Some of the pros of this one are you have an opportunity to make a significant impact, and it could be a diverse and challenging work environment. Some of the cons are you have to handle high pressure situations, and there may be potential challenges in dealing with non-compliant businesses. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, share this video with a friend, a loved one, or somebody who just needs to get a job if you have somebody in mind. It really helps the channel out and it'll help the person that you share the video with. Next on the list is going to be a cancer information specialist. And this is somebody who basically provides essential support, guidance, and resources to patients and the families of patients that have cancer. So this is obviously a very, very important career. And you can see on Glassdoor, it has really good ratings. And the salary here is about forty-eight to $75,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. Some of the skills you need for this one are, of course, empathy, really good listening skills, and basic medical knowledge. Some of the pros are it can be incredibly rewarding, and some of the cons are it also can be very tough because you're going to be dealing with people who are having a very, very bad day, as you can imagine, almost all the time. But overall, this one's really good. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an insurance verification specialist. And this is somebody who ensures accurate benefits, eligibility, and treatment costs are communicated between the insurer, medical providers, and patients. And a fun fact about this is insurance is actually 4,000 years old. And in this position, you make about 
one to $56,000 a year, and it's really easy to land. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you if you'd like. Some skills you need for this one are attention to detail, a basic understanding of insurance, and strong coordination skills. Some of the pros of this one are you get to help people navigate the very complicated insurance landscape in the United States. Some of the cons is it can involve high pressure situations. But overall, I really like this one. I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I had a video that got over a million views. People absolutely loved it. And that was the 21 highest paying work from home jobs that are always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.